Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. From the title of the video, you probably figure this out. This is not usually my topic of conversation in social media. I predominantly make, all of my videos are makeup and beauty videos, but I've been shopping a Nordstrom sale for a few years now and I thought, let me just share, come on here and share what I know, you know? Uh, what brands are like, what kind of clothes I think might be greedy, I, I might be picking up. So this sale is very, very hyped up and very popular on social media. So let me just come on here and share, tell you guys what I know, to be honest, that's it. So uh, yeah, and this is also not my usual setup, you guys know, and this is actually, it's not a back, backdrop, this is actually the wall. Yes, my wall is cobalt blue. I'm a color lover. What do you want me to say? That's how I roll. Okay, I have a list that I kind of like made, like checklist, and then I also have like a wish list on Nordstrom's website. It's incredibly easy, guys, to be honest, to really make a list. I know I'm, I have so many, don't, <laughs> but I probably am not going to buy all of them. I just like picked things that I thought that would be really good and I may pick up, may not pick up, I'm not even sure. So let's get started with um, what I think is one of the must, must buy things from the Nordstrom sale is a Spanx leggings. I know uh, last year I picked up this camo th type and then I also picked up the plain black. This is a must guys, must pick up. Uh, I think it is, I'm not sure about the price, hang on. I think it's like um, 60 how much is it? 64 it's actually $98 and for the sale they're giving it for $64 I don't know what it says for the size is it true to size I'm not sure but for me it is true true to size I am a medium I'm a size 8 I'm not in between sizes I'm always a size 8 in the top and the bottom I'm a size 8 so I picked up the M and it's worked out like magic it just like it's so incredible the fit is incredible just the the way it makes me feel I put it on like so put together and so stylish and so modern it's amazing guys it's such a amazing amazing piece do not miss this out definitely pick it up and the fabric is so so lightweight i know last year uh some fashion influencers said they wear it all like winter uh, no it is not that warm at all It's a very very thin stretchy it's a very thin stretchy fabric it's not a thick fabric at all I live in the Bay Area and I couldn't wear this in winter in Bay Area and it doesn't even snow here all right it doesn't snow here it's pretty cold it gets cold but it doesn't snow here so I wouldn't wear this for winter maybe like early autumn that's when i would wear it yes just early autumn that's when i wear it so spangs it's a definite must pick it up for sure and then there's another thing by blank noir actually i have this jacket right here this is actually like a two-toned ja uh like a i think pon ponty knit pointy knit <laughs> It's a knit jacket, okay? That's all. And it has two tones. Like it has this little bit of a patch uh, here and here and also at the back. Maybe I'll just put it on and show you what it looks like. It's not a cropped, uh, hang on. The sleeve's inside out. Uh, it's not like a cropped, whoa, it's slipping. It's heavy, guys. It's not a very lightweight piece. I'm very unfortunately I'm so sorry to tell you guys that I never actually wore this outside hang on let me see if I can show you what this looks like let's move this chair away whoa and and I'm 5'2 I'm wearing like a mini skirt and this hits me here I'm 5'2 I'm pretty short uh, so this hits me mid thigh <laughs> I know and there's also like a little panel at the back I don't know how this video is gonna turn out to be so hopefully it turns out well so that's what it looks like it's a good one it's pretty pretty stretchy it's very stretchy and there's no zipper there's just like one 
like button there and it has a hood and it also has this string so you can really like tie it up here if you want to so yeah i really like this jacket but it's a pity i didn't wear this at all not even once even the tags even the tags are still on there so yes and then i saw another jacket from the brand cut from the cloth so this is called the karina full suede drape motor jacket i don't have the exact one but i think um two years ago or three years ago i got a motor jacket from cut from the cloth full suede motor jacket this is it and I think the fabric is probably the same I'm just making an educated guess it's probably the same and they even have the same color you see it's like this is like very moto jacket this is one that they're selling this year is more of a like a drape jacket um, so I'm using actually using a stool so this comes up to my I don't know like pelvic bone so this is it this is what it looks like and it zips up but the the one they're selling this year is like the style is different but it also zips up this one also zips up and everything so yes i really like it it's very stretchy the blank noir is also pretty stretchy it's it's a really nice different kind of a whoa let's get it out all right what is next uh, since we are looking at coats, I thought we'll talk about uh, blank NYC jackets, which are very classic. I might pick up one of them. I think there are two colors. There's like a brown and then there's like a dark gray, gray olive color. I might pick both. I'm, I'd probably just pick one. And, and if I'm really, really in love with the style, I might pick two. But what a lot of people don't talk about is blank NYC's skirts. They always come with matching skirts. So this year also they have a caramel macchiato, I think it's called. Where are you? Yes. Like a zip suede skirt. And they, they come out with two colors. And I'm definitely picking up uh, blank NYC skirts. What I've been wearing, you, just, you guys saw just the brown skirt. not ideal but this skirt is blank NYC I am a size 8 and this they don't run uh, large or small they are true to size and this just drapes your body it's not sticking up look at that in the back it's not too too bodycon but at the same time it just kind of slims you I really really like their skirts their mini skirts are amazing and they are high-waisted so i really really love their skirts and i wear these skirts all year round so this is like i would say must buy even more than the jacket i think i really love it and yeah the jacket also cool i don't have i do have a few blank nyc jackets but not the style i don't have the style with the belt underneath so i might definitely pick up one at least one to see and then let's talk about another coat that i saw from sam edelman they have like a very bright pink coat it's called the notched lapel reefer coat it looks i'm not a big fan of double breasted so this is just a single breasted uh, coat and it's not long at all even on the model it's like it's like hitting your mid thigh i think and this if it's if it hits the model mid thigh it's probably hitting me probably near the knee so I really like it it's a beautiful pink one I might check it out then halogen has come out ha, has uh, like a wrap style plaid coat it's called a plaid long line coat but this kind of looks longer even on the model so I'm not sure but I'm really really in looking for a wrap style coat I'm not for like a long structured coat if it's structured I want it to be a little bit shorter I don't know but this looks really interesting and Bernardo nobody really talks about these brands to be honest people just stick with halogen and just halogen I think Bernardo actually has a beautiful two colors a beautiful powder blue wrap coat with a belt and everything it looks so so beautiful that blue is just like calling my name it's beautiful 
they also have like a burgundy rich top oh actually they're calling it rich toffee so it's probably brown but i am really the halogen coat i'm not so sure but this i think i really like it i want to pick up at least one i'm really eyeing the blue one and then what else uh i really like also the brand avec la fille for coats it's really good i feel they do very structured shoulders and then really i don't know i just love it looks really youthful it looks really uh modern it's really really nice and they have come up with a ta double breasted tailored coat now i'm not a big fan of double breasted but i don't know i might give it a try i i think i want to wait for reviews yeah one way for reviews then they also have like a two four four coats one is just like a regular collar with longer length i don't know if i want to pick that up it's gonna look like i'm gonna look like dobby i think in that four four but the print is amazing there's like black stars in it it's a brown four four coat with black stars all over it so i don't know how that fit is gonna be but there's another four four crop top that is really cropped even on the model it's very cropped so i think i love it i don't know it's like a plain black i really wish they had switched the pattern um the brown with the stars on the cropped and then the black on the longer one because i'm really so so pretty the cropped one is very pretty another one with from avec la fille is plaid shawl collar coat this is like a houndstooth a pattern but it's a camel and black houndstooth combination and i usually just see like black and white or i sometimes i see red and black i've never seen this combination camel and black and this has like a very rounded shoulders it's not very i, I know i just said i love like structured shoulder um things uh but with the rounded shouldered coat you can layer things so i'm interested in this and it's short so i like it and it's pretty short so yeah i like it another one from avec la fille is like a trench coat it's a 4-4 but it looks gorgeous on the model but she's tall okay <laughs> on me i don't know i i don't know i'd be drowning in this i think this is like 46 and a half le inch length and i think it might be really really long on me i don't know i'm but it looks stunning on the model and it also comes with a belt i don't know i i gotta check it out but beautiful beautiful color it's a camel color coat it's really pretty so yeah and then another one from avec la fille which i really love is a wrap coat i know i'm i, mean, I just like i picked out so many wrap coats uh yeah we'll see <laughs> how many i get so it's like a pink they're calling it a pink sand but it's like uh oatmeal color and it's again a wrap coat with just one button you just wrap it around and it looks very simple it also comes with a hood it looks very simplistic but i don't know it looks the belt in the in the um you know coat really i think makes it very modern really they also i even saw a lot of um quilted kind of coats the entire coat is quilted kind of like a down feather kind of a thing i don't it looks pretty avec la fille has one in caramel color but i don't know if i feel it would be like too too warm and if i were to buy that coat i just like use it for like during just during winter i won't be able to use it during spring or maybe fall maybe but otherwise i don't know i feel it won't be like uh at least a three season kind of a uh in an outfit you know what i mean so yeah uh another brand that i really really love that i didn't hear anybody talk about is via spiga via spiga's coats are so structured the shoulders are just so beautifully like it gives you a very very tailored look and again there's this is like a snap button this coat has only one button so it's kind of like a quasi wrap coat it doesn't have like a belt it doesn't come with a belt or anything but just one button and i think it is very simplistic it's like very very easy to wear and i love the length of it because this length would probably hit me below the knee 
okay so that's like my perfect length so if it hits like uh, very very long on the model it's just gonna like sweep the floor for me so another one is a jacket from blank nyc i've seen uh, i've been seeing so much of these two-tone and i am here for it uh, my makeup today is two-toned i love this guys i'm really uh, blank and YC is coming coming out with a two-tone four four leather moto jacket it's like brown and black i love the combination you don't see the combination often it's usually like cream and and, and white something like that not brown and black did i say cream and white i meant to say cream and black all right <laughs> or just like a camel tone this is like a true brown color and a black color together but the only thing that's concerned there's even like a two-tone in the collar the back side or the one that uh like um you know borders your neck that's black and the one like uh comes down on your chest is actually brown it looks so pretty the only concern is the length this one kind of looks longer even on the model so i'm 5'2 and uh, oh 22 inches in length is actually kind not exactly cropped for me i don't know i have to look it up i have to check i have to see but i definitely want to buy this and just see how it looks on me blank and yc is like so many options so many options but i really usually stick with just like few things but they have like plenty halogen speaking of halogen they have this plaid shawl collar double breasted coat it's a bright, beautiful fuchsia color. Uh, it really caught my eye. You know, as a color lover, I really like it. But the length, it's so long on the model. I don't know. I have to, I, I think I want to see it on somebody. So, yeah. And it's, uh, it only has like 1% wool. It's polyester, acrylic, and 3% other fibers. So, it's, um, I don't know how, whether it's like a heavy duty coat. I think, I don't know. Speaking of two tones, Treasure and Bond has come out with a beautiful, let me see, it has 15% wool. So they're calling it a blazer jacket. So it's a blazer, blazer style, but the length is like a jacket length and it's two-toned. I love it. I really, really love it. It looks so, so pretty. I really like it. I think I want to at least check it out. It looks so, so unique. I really want to check it out. It's like $92. I want to see what that looks like two more things that i forgot to show you talk to you guys about one thing is from uh lauren La ralph lauren <laughs> i don't know it's like twisting my tongue they have like a quilted coat a diamond quilted coat it looks very pretty actually it looks really pretty but again like i don't know how lightweight this coat is gonna be uh so yeah we'll see and then another wrap coat by by Reese is whoa <laughs> that price is like crazy it's like three hundred and sixty nine dollars but I've been eyeing this brand for now just like every now and then like I don't know this looks so pretty it's a wrap coat it's come with it comes with a belt but I really I'm still my mind is going back to that Bernardo powder blue coat it's so pretty okay i think we should talk about dresses i have one beautiful dress this is again a two-tone dress i think uh the top part is like a more like a knit like a sweater material and the bottom part is like a very let me see the uh what it has the bodice is actually wool and the skirt is polyester 100 percent polyester skirt and they're calling it a floaty chiffon skirt i love it it looks so pretty but the model is a taller person i'm 5'2 like i said i keep repeating i'm 5'2 the model is a taller person and that band that belt that connects the bodice and the skirt it kind of hits her in the hips and not the waist and waist is more like a narrow part of the body so you want things to highlight the waist but if it's hitting her in the hips where is it gonna hit me is this, is it gonna hit me in the butt i'm not sure really i'm a little confused but this dress looks very very pretty guys and another 
just adorable dress I saw is from um, Club Monaco. It looks so pretty. It looks so simplistic. My favorite style is like fit and flare dress. This is that. Exactly is that. And I don't know. I, it's so expensive. I think I can get a dress similar to this at a lower price somewhere if I keep looking. But this looks really pretty. And there is no wool. There, this is not wool. I believe that's all the dresses that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Just those two dresses really caught my eye. Let's talk about tops tops and i saw like a beautiful camisole uh, by one state one state is a brand that i in general really like so i always it's like very feminine uh, there's also another brand called cc that is like very very feminine and everything but one state is not as expensive i feel as cc so i really really always like check on one state like all the time this cami is so beautiful it has like a detail like a v detail and it looks so pretty very very pretty and then oh wait before we move on i wanted to also discuss uh a blazer that i've been eyeing this is also like wow should i be spending this money this much money on a blazer but this is by the brand smite i think this is like a designer brand and but I saw the length of this jacket and I was very impressed. This was this was so cropped and it was puff sleeve and I really and I and I saw what this is like made of. It says 33% and it's not wool, right? 33% cotton and 67% polyester. And it's not wool and the length is 22 inches and the back length is 24 inches. So I think it's like perfect for petite women but i'm not even going to tell you the price i'm not no it's like a beautiful kelly green color and you don't want to know the price so i don't know <laughs> i don't know if i want to get it or not if i'm not buying anything i might get this but we'll see i'm i don't know what's gonna happen uh so that's one blazer i just picked out one blazer that i thought will really pretty and then also speaking of one state we just like uh talked about that cami it's really pretty they also have a flutter sleeve rib knit t-shirt again this is a two-tone kind of a thing the bodice is uh, knit and the sleeve is kind of like a fluttery chiffon kind of a material it really 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 beautiful beautiful contrast it, it comes in black and white i i definitely want to pick at least one whichever one is available it's a beautiful v-neck too and then there's another top from Vince Camuto. Actually, I have that exact top. I want to show you guys. Um, this is like a longer, like a tunic top, but it's not too, too long. It's not crazy long at all. Um, and it also comes with like a little pleat. It's, it literally has like one pleat on top. This, like, uh, this is not the exact color they have. You see this one pleat in, in the middle? It's a good length to be honest you can just wear it with everything skirt it just I for me because I'm pretty short I always tuck it in the front I always do that half tuck like tuck it in the front and leave the back just like as is it works really well because I'm pretty short I, I'm positive it works well with everybody I don't know it like like creates like a longer leg effect so I really like that so I really like that. There's also another tank top from Halogen. This is again a two-tone. The um, It's like a, I don't know, like in, instead of a piping that's uh, that you would see like a contrast piping, it's like a contrast fabric on the tank. And again, it looks very, very pretty. And I really like there's a black and white leopard print. It looks so pretty. It looks really, really pretty. I think it's $28. I probably just pick up one but it's a very interesting piece then another one top we are talking about top so another one is from halogen this is actually a like a sweater top I'm not buying sweaters to be honest right now uh, I have plenty I'd really need to like use them up for this year donate or if it's ripped if, if it's like beyond help I just like get rid of it 
and then I want to buy sweaters. I'm not buying any sweaters this year, to be honest. But this one, except for this, of course, this one is like a cut out mock neck knit top. This is so sexy. This comes uh, with a burgundy color and a black. I am definitely wanting to get the black, but if I'm not able to, I might get the burgundy. It looks so sexy. I really, really, really love these cut out tops. I know it looks like they are like, for, like kind of like a trend, but it's not a trend in my eyes. I think these tops really like elevate your look. It really like gives like a streak of sexiness. You know what I mean? Without like showing cleavage, not cle showing cleavage is bad. It's just for me, it's not practical with little kids handling little kids, which is like pull and tug your clothes. This one, these, especially this one is like in the side, like, uh, across your clavicle bone and it looks beautiful it looks so sexy so yeah that's something i really like and i'm getting it i really want to get it so what else do we have i think i've covered i cannot believe i covered so much let's talk about a jumpsuit this is from elijah j and this is a two for wide leg jumpsuit so the bottom is again like a two-tone the bottom is looks like a culotte Culoet. What are those things that like three quarter length and very very loose? Hang on. What? How are they describing the wide leg bottoms? That's how they're describing the wide leg bottoms. Lend stunning movement and style to your look, making it perfect to the office or event or dance floor. Yeah, and th those wide leg. I'm just gonna call it say say it like the way they say it. Wide leg bottoms is actually like a plaid, and the top is knit. So again, like a two-tone, I'm seeing these everywhere. It looks really, really put together. I love it. And it's $99. But when it comes to jumpsuit, I don't know. It really is fun to buy it and try it on and like send it back because most of them just don't fit me. I'm I'm 5'2 for the hundredth time. So, uh, but this one looks like it will fit me because it's super cropped. But I don't know. Then there's a skirt that I wanted to share with you guys called from the brand Zella. It's a mesh overlay pleated skirt. It looks very pretty. It's like a, there's in certain areas it's kind of see-through. So you can see your leg and then for the most part it's like uh, not see-through. It's like wrapped around and really opaque. And then there's a pleat. It looks really nice. It looks sexy but understated and still you can keep it classy. You know what I mean? really like that that's 55 dollars and then vince kamoto also has like a little blouse it kind of like a peplum but not exactly but it looks good i think a peplum top really sometimes helps to cover your if you have like a tummy um and then like two two wide hips that you don't want to accentuate i have those problems so for me peplum tops really come in handy so I really like it. it comes in black and white but I don't know sometimes these pro tops just don't work out at all it comes also with a belt so that's the that's the high point of this uh, top I feel and then one state also has another mixed media top this one is like more ruffles and yeah again the, the two-tone kind of a thing going on and Vince Komodo I like this top also has like a top but with has studs in it so i love the cobalt blue and then i also like the black because uh, these studs really look very contrasting and beautiful against the black so i really like the black one uh, it looks really pretty guys this looks super super pretty really like the black one more but i think it might be popular so if that sells out i probably end up getting the blue the cobalt blue is just like so pretty. So that's another Wins Komodo top that I like. Another Wins Komodo top is like a marbleized button shoulder blouse. This is more like a blouse. It looks very pretty. It's like a faux, like a uh, stand-up collar neck. It looks really beautiful. It looks really beautiful and very, very lightweight. Perfect to layer it, to be honest. So yeah, I really like it. And then one state again has like a button front blouse. This doesn't look, actually you know what? This looks very pretty because it has like a 
some uh, pleats here to be honest here to give a very like a beautiful feminine touch and also has like a puff shoulder and it's buttoned down blouse this again looks very pretty but it only comes in one color so yeah i don't know um what else and then halogen and caslon have very similar looking tops this is what i was talking about you see oh wait we don't want to go inside these two i've been looking for a top that is kind of like a i don't know like a stripes and i feel a uh, narrow stripes like this not like very chunky stripes and when i wear it over like a plain blazer it looks really pretty so i might get one each because halogen one is 19 and the castellan is 17 and they would be like amazingly perfect for layering so yeah and then i wanted to talk about cc uh the brand cc here this, this one is also, it's called the Puff Sleeve Mixed Media Top. Again, like a mixed media two-tone one. The sleeve is kind of like transparent and the top is like knit. And then BB Dakota has come out with this zebra. Zebra kind of uh, print. Caramel zebra. That's the name of the color. It looks really pretty. And I said, this is like the second sweater. Okay. And then Halogen is also coming out with a faux leather maxi skirt there i don't know how that is gonna look because it looks really long on the model and she's wearing like a high heeled boots so i don't know hmm what else i think we've come to the end i only have one boots to talk about my favorite brand in boots is mark fisher it's definitely on the expensive side but i really feel they make very very stylish boots I've been eyeing this boot called Jojo. Jojo and it's a pointed, this particular color is so pretty. It's like a beautiful, what color is blue suede. Jojo pointed toe booty and it's like a two and a quarter inch heel, which is perfect, perfect for me because I don't wear more than two and a half inch heels. I have a little injury in my leg and it prevents me from wearing even like a three inch heel so i always stick to a two and a half inch heel and you can't find like very cute looking booties at that height so i really like mark fisher's one so i'm definitely want to try this particular one and um they ha already have like a booty called the jolly booty and uh it's very very similar it practically looks the same to be honest so just i think the jolly booties just look similar but this one has a little cut out at the back you see so that's the only difference so the jolly booty i sized up so i'm just making an educated guess that you might have to size up even for the jojo pointed toe booty so yeah and another brand called soft how do you say it soft european name soft is kind of very slouchy i really like it and it's not too um like a knee high boots a knee high boots that you would only probably wear during the winter or autumn i don't know but this one i think i can wear for more like for easily for three three seasons you know what i mean so i'm interested and the and the heel height is also pretty low it's super cute and it's like has like a little bit of a lace up at the back i really like it it's like 109 dollars I really like it and it also has a zipper it's so cute i really liked it and soft also so that is called the charnel charnel lace up booty another booty from soft is this studded one the studded one is called ellen ellen the second booty and it's so cute look at those studs it's so cute guys it's a beautiful looking booty uh, and it also comes in black. I think the black has like silver studs and the brick red has gold studs. It's so cute, guys. This is $99. So I don't know. I, I want to like check out the reviews and see how how it turns out. So um, I've been seeing so many good reviews about this bra. True. This is called True and Co and and this is called the lace trim lift
bralette. It kind of looks like a cami and bralette in one. It's like a, looks like it's full coverage, right? It's like a full coverage bra and it kind of is going to look like, you're not going to see a whole lot of, of your boobs. So it kind of looks like a cami and it's a, actually it really is a bra. So I want to definitely try this out because it kind of looks like a cross, like cami and a bra in one. But it's not, a, oh, it is a bralette. Okay. Um, what else? Hang on. Uh, there is another skirt, a halogen plaid pencil skirt, which looks very interesting. So I kind of like added it. It's like $28. This new face, uh, these devices have always defeated me, guys. Uh, I just don't use them. It's 100% my fault. I get lazy, I'm like, oh, this is boring. It's like my arm is hurting. I, something, I come up with some excuse and I just don't use them. But I'm hearing so many good things about the new face and the price is actually 340. For the sale, it's 199. So I really hope it's like good. I don't know, should I buy it? Just like history, sh I don't want history to repeat itself. You know what I mean? Then another dress, sweater dress, I think this is the last one. Another sweater dress from Treasure and Bond is this off-shoulder one. It doesn't look too, too bodycon to me. I don't wear bodycon dresses. It doesn't, it's not like amazing on me. So I just like don't stick with it. But this does not look like a bodycon sweater dress. It looks good. It's like off the shoulder. I want to give it a try. It's like $52. Okay, I'm super tired. Oh, wait. Speaking of, I think I missed out one uh, blank and YC mini skirt. They're also coming out with this leather skirt and it has these little buttons. So, I don't know, I really like it. I want to check it out. Hmm. I think that's it. We have come to the end of this video and hope you guys are still here. I uh, hope you guys like this fashion related videos. I don't know how this is gonna be. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.